Everything that gets into your brain affects your reality tunnel, your worldview, or your belief system, which I abbreviate BS. The, the, two, the, the, the three major things I've been trying to teach in all of my books is never believe fully in anybody else's BS. I don't care if it's Roger Nish, the Pope, L. Ron Hubbard, Al Gore, George Bush, or I don't care who it is. Don't, don't, don't swallow all their Hello. beliefs. So here I am at the airport. I am boarding to venture to Calgary, which is something that I decided to do, considering yeah, just uh, I think it's necessary to really focus on uh, really invoking a self-worth or a self um, self-image, maybe basically self-empowerment, having a time away um, from what I. I feel I am with Tyler and vice versa. I think it's going to be a good thing and, and time away from Pavlov as well, which it's funny how, um, you know, small creatures or just people or, or whatever have a big part in, in identity. And when you don't have them around, what are you? So I'm really looking forward to this adventure and um, my mother lives in Calgary as well, so it's going to be exciting to reunite with her. Um, we, we have spent quite a few years apart now, so it's good to just spend some time. And um, what else? Oh, I'm, I'm really excited to go to a lot of um, art workshops in Calgary. I'm really excited to work, um, really start developing my businesses that I've worked so hard on developing. It's very difficult, being that all of them are online, including YouTube. Uh, uh, what else? I don't know, just uh, pretty, pretty nervous, pretty excited all at the same time. Um, and um, really, really looking forward to seeing how I will be when I return to Salt Spring Island, what I'm going to be like when I'm fully recharged with my own ness, <laughs> Kaylee ness. Um, which is exciting and I definitely I've done this before quite a few times so I know this is the next process on growing and uh, integrating what I've learned uh, about you know different relationships it's a lot different with Tyler because um, we are so supportive of each other so it's this is interesting um, other than that my hair is doing great I love it there's not one point where I felt like I had made a bad decision Especially about not getting a hairdresser to actually fix it up. I think it's doing pretty well. And um, yeah, other than that, I hope this video turns out well. It might be a little bit hard to hear, but... Um, and yeah, I look forward to um, giving you updates of what living in Calgary is like. I was actually born in Calgary, so it's going to be interesting to stay there for more than, I think, a week. The second rule is like unto the first. Don't believe totally in your own BS. Which means that, as Bucky Fuller said, the universe consists of non-simultaneously apprehended events. Non-simultaneously. The universe consists of non-simultaneously apprehended events, which means any belief system or reality tunnel you've got right now is going to have to be revised and updated as you continue to apprehend new events later in time, not simultaneously. This is the natural functioning of the human brain. It's the way children's brains perform before they're wrecked by the school system. It's the way the minds of all great scientists and artists work. But once you have a belief system, everything that comes in either gets ignored if it doesn't fit the belief system or it gets distorted enough so that it can fit into the belief system. You gotta be continually revising your map of the world or you'll lose more and more contact with reality. Anybody who has a belief system which covers the whole universe that would be the Roman Catholics, Orthodox Islam, the Scientologists, PSYCOP, the Marxists, the Objectivists, and most of the assholes you meet on the street. Uh, well, what, they, what has happened is their brain has stopped receiving new signals. Or to the extent that new signals do get in, they all have to be edited to fit into the belief system. If they don't fit the belief system, they get repressed one way or another, like the doctors can't hear the baby screaming while they circumcise them. I just arrived in Calgary. The flight was good and um, I'm about to meet with my mom who I actually haven't seen in five months. I didn't know that. 
months and I just calculated it up. I'm like, oh crap. So this will be good. It'll be good to see her and um, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. On the flight, I had just brainstormed a whole bunch of things to share with you too, from um, budgeting to how to make money online to um, just, you know, taking space from, um, you know, a long-term relationship to find yourself again. Um, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of good things coming up out of this trip, so I look forward to invoking passion no matter how sad or happy I may be. I'm really committing to this project, so yeah. Alright, I gotta go get my baggage and then uh, yeah, let's go see my mom. Alright, it's cold. Hey, I don't know how this is gonna fit. <laughs> Look at this, get picked up. That's a wanky vehicle. I really, you're gonna maybe get annoyed by what <laughs> I'm doing. Action. <laughs> So cute. Are you gonna film me taking a bite? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. What is that? <laughs> Chai. Oh, <laughs> totally. Chai cupcake. Mm -hmm. That's a really good combo. Yep. And yeah, where are we? It is vegan cafe. What else? Could there be? <laughs> 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 I used to only depress you years ago. Oh, yeah. You bring your own weed. Sure. Usually it's $5 a person to throw on weed. Today it's 10 bucks for the day, but there's probably a nice bag of bags now and drop for the day. Yeah. You have a card. <laughs> I do. Oh, jeez, I'm going to remember this. <laughs> I know lots of people that would uh, be interested in that. They are open from 12 to 12 to 7 days. 